vary. I'm going to give you a sample of my differential GPS training that I use in my Ag Pilot syllabus. I use three concepts and three stages of, of, of this training process. First, we use a couple props on the tabletop and really understand what an AB line is, a C line, and how a GPS works. From there, we put into a practical situation where I have a self-contained differential GPS unit that I put in the golf cart, go up and down the runway, give you understanding of what's going on in, in motion, but in a situation where it's a lot slower so you can comprehend it quicker. And then once you've mastered that, we'll go into an airplane and my system can be converted to any airplane. It matter just plugging it into a, to a cigarette lighter. And when we finish with that, we go to the computer, we download a map and see how well you've done. So we've flown over the field and we're gonna come around and we decide this first pass, we're gonna make the first field, this field, we're gonna work in a situation where it'll be back to back working to the left. The wind is from our left, so every time that we move forward, we're going to be out of our swath. In other words, the drift will be coming this way and we'll be advancing this way away from it so we don't get plant protection products on us. We've cleared the field. We come around our first line. When we clear obstacle, move into the field, we turn spray on, push swath advance, which is our A. A is just a position that marks the computer. We advance to the end of the field. We push swath advance, which is B. Then we turn our spray off, clear the obstacles, make a 45 degree turn to the right, very much like a instrument procedure turn. Extend out depending on how strong the wind is blowing you back. Make a 180 degree turn to the left. And we want to come out just like we're intercepting that, that uh, runway line on an, I, on an ILS approach. What we're doing here is coming in at a 45 degree intercept angle and we want to make this turn so we're just inside of this line on our light bar and then we're within a few feet and then slide over to the right. Always like to turn inside and slide over upwind to where you're going. That eliminates the uh, tendency to overshoot and then you're having to come back to get on this line and then chances are you're going to overshoot it again and you end up doing all this mess. So we intercept 45 degree angle, line up on swath just inside, slide over well in advance to the field, clear our obstacles, and here we are on swath two. Come in, you don't have to do anything here. You turn your spray on, make your pass, end of the field, Spray, turn off, uh, turn off your spray, climb out, 45 degree turn to the right, and here you hit your swath advance, which will put you to field to spray swath number three. 180 degree turn, 45 degree intercept, intercept inside the line, slide over, clear your obstacles, spray on, so forth. Round robin or racetrack, they call it. We're going to work to the left this time. This concept is clear your obstacle, A, swath advance A, make your spray pass or run, swath advance B, spray off, clear your obstacle, go to the end of your field, line up on your last swath wherever it is, start that swath, and somewhere along that swath, push swath advance again, and that will give you C position. C position measures the distance from one side of the field to the other side of the field and automatically splits it for you. So at the end of this last swath, you will come, make a 180 degree turn to the, to the left, line up on swath two, spray on, Spray off, you make your turn, but this time the computer's already split it in half for you, so you don't have to turn near as far. You make this 180 degree turn, you come to your middle swath, spray on, make your swath, then you make a 180 degree turn, come to swath three, and you work it out in basically in two different segments. And what this allows you to do 
is to work the field usually a little bit faster if you're in a heavy airplane and a little more economical uh, to uh, make consistent patterns. And once you get done, no matter when, except on a back-to-back -back situation, but on this, this closed pattern, you say, well, how does it know when I get done? Believe me, it does. If everything is covered in this field, the light bar will come up and it'll say, field is finished or done. We've uh, taken the card out of the uh, GPS unit in the airplane, put it in the card reader. We've downloaded it onto a program. Pretty amazing thing. Let's zoom it up a little more. See, we have a few gaps, but you know what? Once again, everything takes practice, and uh, that's what we're here for, to help you get by and learn and practice and do it as inexpensively as possible as you possibly can. There's no sense going out and spending five, six hundred bucks an hour flying around in an ad cat or 
for a turbine for a thousand dollars an hour trying to learn this stuff when you can do it in a golf cart and then in a Satabira your own Super Cub or 172 or whatever it uh, it's <laughs> I almost want to say it's not rocket science but in a way it really is definitely Buck Rogers stuff and it's interesting and it's a lot of fun to master it and to show a farmer a perfect map. And you'll get a great satisfaction, just like on that ILS where you pop out of the clouds and you're lined up right down the runway. Precision flying, precision agriculture. Thanks for your time.